Why, hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more Super Robot Wars 30 gameplay. And on the last video, I got Char. Surprisingly, Char showed up. <clears throat> Sorry, Quattro Vagina. And he was in some modded version of the Hyakushiki, the full armor Hyakushiki Kai or whatever. Uh, so that was surprising. And then after that, it opened up the two missions to get Amuro and Camille, respectively. And... It was kind of a tough decision deciding who I want to get next, and I think I want to get Camille next. And the reason why is because this is literally just, uh, like, headcanon stuff. Just me thinking from a story perspective why I'd want to get Camille first is because, like, obviously, Char probably wants to talk to Amuro way more than Camille after Char's counterattack, right? He probably doesn't even feel like he needs to talk to Camille, but he really wants to see Amuro, right? Or even if he doesn't want to see Amuro, he probably has a lot to say uh, to Amuro. And then meeting, those two meeting is like a way bigger deal than him meeting with Camille. And so I feel like if he were to meet with Amuro first and then Camille showed up, he would still be talking to Amuro about stuff when Camille showed up. And then we wouldn't actually get like a proper conversation between the two. So I feel like the only way we'd actually get a proper conversation between Camille and Char is if... Amuro isn't in the room at the same time, right? <laughs> at least that's how I headcanon it. Okay, so we're going to do this one first, and I actually didn't do any upgrades in between the last mission and now. Uh, even though I am tempted to upgrade the Hyakushiki, the full armor Hyakushiki, uh, I decided to wait because if I'm getting Camille and Amuro super soon back to back, then I'm probably going to want to dump points into their Zeta Gundam and New Gundam. So, I should be able to make do here without any upgrades. Yes. So, I'm assuming they're going with the continuity that Camille recovered. Like, I'm assuming they're basing this on the interpretation that Camille uh, recovered at the end of Double Zeta, right? Because the, the ending cutscene in Double Zeta is it's kind of ambiguous, right? You can tell he, he recovered to some extent, uh, but I'm assuming that just to make Camille, you know, playable and actually a uh, character that people can talk to in this game, they're just going with the uh, continuity that Camille fully recovered. Ah. I 
I don't remember if this was ever implied or if I just sort of imagined it from seeing so much fan art. But did Fa end up sort of dating Judo? I feel like that would have made sense. But I mean, if Camille fully recovers, then it makes sense she would uh, still hang out with him. I mean, either way, she'd either have to be his caretaker or uh, hang out with him being fully recovered. It's cool hearing uh, these characters from Gundam series that came out, you know, years ago. Like, characters from the old Gundam series talk about things from the newer Gundam stuff. But, you know, like, obviously, uh, like, the Miracle Children from Narrative was, co like, chronologically before the events of Zeta Gundam. But obviously... They never could have actually talked about that in Zeta Gundam because Zeta Gundam was made before narrative. So it's kind of cool hearing the characters from Zeta Gundam talk about that sort of stuff. It really ties it all together. I'm feeling pretty justified in my decision to get Camille first anyway, because Amuro is probably doing fine on his own wherever he is, whereas <laughs> Camille's stuck in some new type lab, it's probably uh, urgent to bust him out. Maybe there are actual walls in this map. What, uh, what mobile suit is that? Okay, so you have to bring Yona. Um... Wait, why can't we select units? We're just bringing in Yona? Uh, okay. Sure. Okay, so they're coming in later. Even though this is UC Gundam stuff, this part's kind of reminding me of that one uh, part from Gundam 00 where they actually, uh, when, when there's sort of the ethical decision of blowing up that lab with the kids in it, uh, it wasn't actual new types in 00, right? But it was, it was basically, like, in principle, the same thing. Cyber new types, I mean. Um... Yeah, because in Double O, uh, one of the characters, Alleluia Haptism, he uh, was someone that came from one of those labs, and then he wanted to go back and blow it up. So I'm wondering if they actually took inspiration from Double O for this sort of subplot here. Yeah, let's just take one at a time here. So what... Okay, hold on. What suit is this? Gaza C? Um... It has to be from Zeta, right? I mean, Zeta had a ton of weird enemies. I don't remember that one, though. That's, that has to either be from Zeta or Double Zeta, right? Both of those had some crazy uh, enemy suits. Um... I 
don't know if it's worth getting counterattacked if I'm only doing the Vulcan. I think I'd rather them come into me. It's a bit better. Still not good, though. Maybe I can stall until my other uh, units come in. Unless it's actually scripted to happen after I've done a certain amount of damage or something like that. I'm just going to assume the former for now. Shield defense. What proc to that? Now I'm going to start kiting them a bit. Move and fire. Okay. Um, Beam Saber is the only th other thing I can use after moving. Wait, no. Well, I can... I need to figure out what the difference is between these two incoms. I mean, obviously, obviously I can read, like, the ranges are different and stuff, but I need to figure out what map means. Um, one requires more morale as well. They don't need to use a spirit here. I need to sort of kite them back from where I came, because I'm assuming that's where the reinforcements will come from. Maybe over here, actually. Mm. Okay, Incom is ready. Nice. Uh, yeah. Hey, I wonder if that spirit is still active. I need to read it again to see if it says the next battle or just for the remainder of the turn. happen to be there. Hmm, so I wonder if we're getting the Mark II for now, and then we're going to get the Zeta later. I don't think Camille would know... Like, he was talking about the Miracle Children, but I don't know if he knows them by name like that. This is a cool uh, team-up. Let's see. So yeah, we're on a Mark II, not the Zeta. Uh, Mark II's probably just all around, right? If Once we get the Zeta, I'm expecting that to be a high mobility type, right? Like, obviously, because it can transform into a jet. Um... I wish from this menu you were able to, like, cycle between all your active units so I could, could so I could directly compare it to the narrative Gundam, for example. Focus. Okay, seems pretty all around. Um, okay, these are both low.
73. So let's finish off this one. Vulcan Pod. I don't know if these are the original voice actors or not, but that's really good voice acting, right? If that's, uh... That's an impersonator, they got the voice pretty spot on. <laughs> it's like a very specific kind of yell. It's kind of cool having Camille in here, though. Like, a, a version of Camille whose character arc is already completely finished, right? Um, in turn... What am I countering with? Beam Saber? Oof. Yeah, dude, I'm going to have to keep Camille on the team as a mainstay just because the voice acting so good. It's like the opposite of Tamaki. <laughs> like, I want to not play Tamaki because of her voice. Um... Why is that so far away? I can't counter with anything? Okay, so it's automatically set to evade. Okay, yeah, so... Oh, I thought they meant our reinforcements. It's probably around now, anyway. Okay, select units. Uh, ten. We have to bring Char, right, for the dialogue. Uh, bring Uso. Kony for the heals. Galgai go, because he's a mega tank. Uh, secondary tank. Uh, this for the team buff. Uh... Saruga, Akabine, Red 5. Okay. Just because we have one slot left, we're bringing Tamaki, but <laughs> after this, Camille's replacing Tamaki. Change placement. Um. Stop moving. They're kind of far away. Dang. Okay. I need to probably put uh, units with good movement in the front just so I can, like, catch up to them quickly then. So Uso can move. Uh, Tamaki can move. Him in the middle so we can just start drawing aggro. Um. Okay, I think that's good. I wonder if we would have gotten that if we didn't even select Char. I mean, I guess canonically he's still on the ship, so maybe they could have still done that. Yeah, okay, so we don't even have her out, but she's still talking, so I'm assuming that they would make the same characters talk no matter what. Okay. Okay, let's start bringing them back. Uh, Yona's probably fine because he can move quite a bit. Hmm, it's probably not a good. It's probably not a good idea to go for this in case I get hit, even though it is a low chance. Um. Okay, 
you just literally just plug walk up there. I wish there was a way... Uh, maybe there is an option for it. I'm going to have to look again because the menu's a little, uh, weird. But, uh, I wish there was a way to make it where... The same song plays for the whole mission, and the song that plays is thematic with what the mission is, right? So, for example, since this is a Zeta Gundam mission, it would just always play Zeta Gundam music. Um... Uso, move up there. You start moving as well. Whoops. It's not a kill. The Gira Zulus are up there. Um, you just start making sort of a wall then. Zero percent chance. Did he actually just dump his life story on Yona? I thought that was like a joke. Hold on. Uh, I could heal. I can actually heal Camille from here with uh, Kony. I didn't think about that. So maybe it is worth the risk of doing this. hit okay uh yeah definitely heal him now That's for a whole turn, so I guess that was lasting, uh, for multiple, uh, counterattacks that one time. Do I have any- does Camille have any EXs ready? No, just one. One, uh, unit, I mean. Now let's move more.
Nice. One less unit that can attack Camille here. Um. Okay, end turn. Kind of spread out here. I feel like a good rule of thumb is that I shouldn't skip the attack animations for the unit that the mission is about, right? So because this is the mission where we're getting Camille, I don't think I should skip any of his animations. Oh, nice crit. Hmm. It was a little iffy. Yeah, and it's still lasting. So I guess that spirit's actually really good to use, right? When you're uh, counterattacking, if you know you're going to be counterattacking more units. Because if you just use it on your turn when you're attacking, you only get to really use it once. But if you're using it on a turn you're being attacked, you can use it multiple times if you're getting attacked more than once. Oh, wow. I wonder who they got to design the new Hyaku Shiki here. I know they got Go uh, they got Gona Guy to design the logo for the game, which is pretty cool. The logo that's with the 30 on it for the 30th anniversary. They got Gona Guy to do that. He made uh, Mazinger Z and Devilman, but obviously in this case, it's more relevant that he made Mazinger Z. I'm pretty sure Mazinger Z is in this game, by the way. He is on the uh, cover of this game, after all. Not real cover, right, because it's a digital game, but, you know, on the main Steam page, like, in your library, there's a key art. Uh, I guess I could have just said key art instead of cover. That would have saved me a lot of breath. This is kind of making me want to rewatch narrative as well. Hmm, sure. Okay, who is hurt? Camille is down a little bit of HP, so is Yona. That's it, right? I mean, Gao Guy Go is down a little bit, but that doesn't matter. Uh, wait, hold on. Is Tamaki hurt? She is. Okay. Kind of want to move him out there to start getting the aggro of these Girazulus. Did it whiff? Oh man, it whiffed. That was an 89% chance too. How can you whiff when your theme song's playing? Maybe this will make up for it. How was Camille betrayed by Char? Maybe he just thinks he got... Uh, manipulated by him, considering what happened at the end of Zeta. Okay, good. Uh, who can I attack from here? Him? Ok, 
Okay. A healthy Gira Zulu there. And that's... Okay, that's the only enemy left over in the starting area. Um... Sort of kite him back. I don't have the morale for that yet. Wait, yeah, I do. How come I can't... Oh, you can't move. I haven't used Long Rifle yet, have I? I'm really tempted to use it here just to see it... Just to see it in action. Dang, that's doing a lot of damage, too. What the heck? I would like to use it now, but I think it's more important for him to regroup first. Well... Wait, is that getting a counterattack? Uh, barely. See, I'm glad I, I'm glad we're getting all these extra dialogues. Um, I would say that's why I brought all these other uh, Gundam units along, but I probably would have done that anyway. Really, um, maybe Camille can stay up here. I could shoot him down, and then Camille could shoot him down. Let's go for that. See, it's really weird. Oh, I dodged the 80%. It's weird hearing Camille talk about full front frontal, for example, right? Because, like, during things like Unicorn, you know, you're always wondering, like, what the other Gundam characters' thoughts are on the politics of what's going on. Um... Should move back then. Whoops, I don't mean to do that. Uh, well, can't undo that. <laughs> at least, at least the front line's up there. And he, wow, they dodged it. Okay, wow, I got hit f afterwards. Can I move and use that? No. Don't think it matters, though. No way, this guy did another clutch dodge. Okay, there. Um... Okay, who's hurt right now? Uh, Tamaki's still hurt. Izuru is hurt. Um... Okay, that's it. Um... When can Kony do another one of those? Okay, it'll be a while. Oh, uh... I moved the heal from Asagi to Gal Gygar, by the way, just because Gal Gygar has way more HP, so he can make better use of it. Okay, I'll just have to go for that. I miss the launcher 70%. I can't change it. Okay, let's just go for it. Roll it. Nice. Okay. RNG balancing out. I used up my bad luck earlier. Come 
ムモドキは引っ込んだろ向かってくるなバオこれが予想以上だまだ私に役目があるというなら邪魔をするなはっ hungry for char Mm. The thing is, if this hits me, I'm going to have to use this. Uh, I, oh, that's the tanky thing. Yeah, the thing is, if that hits me, I'm going to have to use this out of desperation on the next turn. This only works for one round of combat, not a whole turn. So that means I just wasted that if this doesn't hit right. I still think it's worth it, just in case. Yeah, and it did hit. Okay, good thing I mitigated it. The issue is if someone else comes up and attacks me after that. i t s a ton of EX now. Okay, that's better. 82. 82. 87. Wow, is he talking about super robots instead of real robots? It's funny. Okay, uh, Shar is kind of hurt, but he has a lot of EX. We can get a guaranteed crit. Oh, if an enemy unit's defeated in the next act, in the next attack, perform an extra action. So I can do two attacks in one turn. Um, hmm. So I could use him offensively here. So we have one. Uh. How do I get it where I can see all their HP? There. Okay. Um. But only that one is hurt. Probably just have someone like that come up and finish him off. Yeah. Okay. How come I can't use this? I mean, I'd have to click on someone else to do it, right? Maybe I should have Char use that. I don't know if I need to use it yet, though. Let's wait. Oh, that one's weak. And it whiffed. Okay, wow. Some bad luck in this mission. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I should have used it earlier, but that attack whiffed anyway. Wow, Helen Heaven can kill a Gira Zulu in one hit. Okay, go for that, sure. See, it's so weird hearing someone that isn't from Gundam talk about how he heard Mineva's speech. It's not like any one of those is a big deal, but it's just the total accumulation of that. That makes it so weird. But in a good way. <laughs> he, he ripped out the pilot. Since that wasn't a Zondra core, obviously. Um. I hit anyone from here? No. Um. Long rifle is not going to kill. I could weaken this and then have Shar attack without having to commit by going too far forward. 
uh, Char could finish him off, and if I use that one EX move, he can get another attack. I was not expecting that to kill, though. <laughs> Oh, but that's that would kill anyway. Okay, so how about this? Multi action. This is the first time I'm using that as well. See if he can get a double. Nice. Go for the double. That's pretty sick. Multi action's pretty cool. Okay, so he's super low. Uh, Uso can run up and finish him off. Shoot him in the back with the Vulcan as he's running. Okay, so now it's just that one unit. Uh, I could have... Maybe I could have these units run up and attack him. I don't I don't think it's necessary though, right? Cuz um I don't think with how I have my units positioned here, I don't think he can get through and attack one of these two easily. So he'd have to attack like the only unit he can attack that's low on HP is Galrigo, but he's fine. So I think this is in the bag. Let's move her back a bit, just in case. Well, no, because I'd want her to be close enough to, like, do an attack if I need to distribute the, the XP to someone. In phase. So that, that's the only thing we have. Um... See that too. Yeah, so you can be an evade tank too because of the other pilot. This unit's kind of cracked. This unit's actually really OP. I don't know why they made Gal Guy go so strong. Okay, so now who should get the XP? Levels Camille. Nine, nine, and and Kay's kind of low, but it's just because she's never in the action, you know. Um. Okay, so honestly, my levels are fine. Uh, Kony could get a level. Saruga and Kay are the two that are low level, but it makes sense because they're you know usually in the back. Um. I wish Kony would get XP from healing people with her uh, spirit move, right? Kind of like healers in Fire Emblem, they get XP from healing. Maybe they thought it would be too exploitable, but the thing is, like, you have to wait for the spirit to refill, so I don't think that would have been too exploitable. Uh, let's have Camille finish him off, if he can reach. Oh, I can't. I wanted to do it just because it's his mission, right? Um, Yona can't go over there. Nor can Char. I could theoretically bait it back right further, but I don't want to be too risky. Seventy-eight. Let's do something higher. Okay. Here's the last move. 
Assuming this is the last wave. But, but what? Here it comes. <laughs> Slap. I can imagine how it looked. It was an actual punch. I guess that's more Camille's style. I'm really wondering if anybody's going to make a joke about his name being a girl's name, right? That's some low-hanging fruit that I feel as if they wouldn't bypass so easily. Oh, cool, we're getting a Methus as well, with Fa in it. I feel like canonically they shouldn't be dragging her along, though. I mean, she was never really particularly good at piloting. I think it's cool that... Even though the trailers showed the main characters and the main mechs that are in this game, there are a whole bunch of other ones from the same series that I never knew about, right? Like, I knew that we got a Majestic Prince unit, but I didn't know we got the whole crew. And, like, I knew Zeta Gundam was coming, even though we don't have Zeta yet, but I knew Camille was coming, but I didn't know we got a Methus as well. Aqua module, huh? Oh, that's a power part. Um. Okay, let's see what the Methus is like. The next mission I'm going to do is the Omro mission for sure. Um. Let's look at it. There it is. What is it good at? Not great armor. Um, maybe it has good... Maybe it has good, uh... How do I even examine it? Um, I want to look at its spirit things. Okay, first of all, what is the aqua module? Gives them a uh, better movement in water. Okay. So like, you can actually go through water. I don't know if we've encountered any maps with that yet, but that'll be good to note. Oh, cool, more armor we can assign to stuff. Uh, does Galgago not have that already? Yeah, okay, I put that on him. Okay, yeah, keep that. Um, we'd have to figure out how to look at the Methus's, uh, spirit stuff, right? Oh, info. I can just do that, duh. Methus. Um. Weapon info. Unit info. How do I find the... Oh, here it is. Um. 
Okay, so this is another healer. That's kind of funny because in Gundam Evolution, I haven't, I never played the beta or anything. I didn't get accepted, but I watched a lot of the gameplay and the Methus. They made the Methus like the medic support in uh, Gundam Evolution as well. Even though it never really explicitly did that in Zeta Gundam, but obviously both the people that made Gundam Evolution and this must have had the same idea uh, to make the Methus a healer. Uh, so I think the Methus will probably be worth taking along just because now I can have the Methus and Kony be the healers, right? Um, huh, take less damage if your morale is high enough. And then you can body block something, so yeah, this is like fully support. Okay, cool, yeah. Um, I'll probably end up using that and Camille, right? I'm wondering when, I'm wondering when we get the Zeta Gun, though, instead of Mark II. Uh, so I'll probably drop Tamaki and... I don't know who else, but obviously I'll decide uh, on the next mission. Oh, cool, yeah, the Methus gets mobile armor mode, too. Are, do these count as separate units? I don't know, you can probably transform mid-mission. They probably just have it listed as separate for, like, the info list. Uh, let me say before I forget. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone. Nice having you here. That was probably my favorite mission so far, but that's probably just because I like Zeta Gundam a lot, so it was really cool seeing uh, Camille talk with Yonabasta and Bright again, and, of course, Quattro. Um, like I said, the next mission will be Amaro, so I expect that mission to be pretty exciting too. So uh, let me know what you thought in the comments, or if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Or, of course, if you have any kind of insights, uh, let me know, right? Like if I missed any references or anything like that. Uh, so thanks for watching, and bye for now.